good day. My name is John Melroy Fernandez, lecturer at Department of Interior Design and Decoration, Milagris College, Mangalore. So, today we will discuss about the topic properties of cement. So, in properties of cement, there are two types. One is physical properties and chemical properties. So, we will discuss in detail what about the physical properties of cement. So, the first one, the fineness of cement. The second one, the soundness. The thirdness, third one, the consistency of cement. The fourth one, the strength of the cement. The fifth one, the setting time of the cement. And the sixth one, the heat of hydration. The seventh one, the loss of ignition. And the last, the bulk density. So, the fineness of cement, the size of the particles of the cement is its fineness. So, this can be tested in the site itself. If you take a pinch of cement in your, and rub it between, the, between your fingers, you can just feel the grains, feel the size, the, feel the size of the particles. So, that is fineness. Hydration rate is directly related to the cement particle size. The fineness of the cement, the size of the particles of the cement is its fineness. So, the fineness can be determined by taking a pinch of cement between your fingers and rub it between your fingers. So, you can feel the size, the feel the grains, the size of the grains. So, that is fineness. The hydration rate is directly related to the cement particle size. Fineness of the cement is very important for hydration rate. The hydration is nothing but the when it is mixed with aggregates, sand and cement and with water, a heat is occurred. So that and the chemical reaction takes place. So that is what the hydration rate is. Next, the fineness of cement can be determined by a using 90 micron sieve. Okay, so the fineness can be determined by the by the uh, instrument called as uh, use by using the 90 micron sieve. Next, the soundness of cement. The soundness relate to the ability of cement to not shrink upon hardening. So, the cement will gain its volume, it will increase, it will decrease the volume. So, a good quality of cement retain its volume after setting without delayed expansion. So, a good quality of cement will not gain its volume or it will uh, not uh, decrease the volume also. So, it will remain the same. The volume will not be increased or decreased, which is caused by excessive free lime and magnesia content. The soundness of cement is determined by using leach artillier test or autoclave test. So, these both are the test which is uh, required for the measurement of soundness of cement. Next, the consistency of cement. The consistency is nothing but the ability of the cement paste to flow is consistency. Ability of the cement paste to flow when the water is added to the cement. So, what is the time taken to harden? So, that is the consistency of cement. The consistency of cement is determined by using Vicut apparatus or Vicut test. So, the consistency of the cement can be determined by using Vicut apparatus. The apparatus, the name of the apparatus is called Vicut apparatus or the and the test, it is Vicut test. Using Vicut apparatus, we can find the amount of water required for making a standard cement paste. So, the for the for the making of the standard cement paste, the Vicut apparatus can be used. Next, the consistency of cement is me measured in percentage. So, the consistency is always measured in percentage. So, the strength of the cement. 
there are three types of strength of the cement which is measured. The first one is compressive strength, the second one the tensile strength and the third one the flexor strength. So next the various factors affect the strength such as water cement ratio. What do you mean by water cement ratio is nothing but the amount of water is needed for the certain amount of cement. Next the cement fine aggregate ratio, the cement and fine aggregate ratio, fine aggregate in the sense the sand, the coarse sand, the fine sand. So some cement and the coarse aggregate ratio, curing conditions, so what type of curing conditions we have offered like it may be a splash, splashing, sprinkling etc. The size, shape of the specimen, the manner of molding and mixing, loading conditions and age. So next the compressive strength of cement. So here we have taken only the compressive strength of cement. For the cement concrete we need to check out all the three strength which is the tensile strength, the flexor strength and compressive strength also. So the compressive strength of cement from all the three strength parameters only the compressive strength will be tested and calculated because the maximum direction of loading should be compressive. Compressive strength of cement is performed by using a cube size of 70.5 into 70.5 into 70.5 mm that is millimeter. The size of the cube which has to be tested. So the size of the cube is 70.5 into 70.5 into 70.5 that is length into width into breadth. Cement is mixed with the sand with given cement sand ratio that ratio is cement motor ratio. So the cement when it is mixed with the sand with a certain amount of ratio. So that is the cement motor ratio. For example, 1 is to 6, 1 is the cement quantity and 6 is the sand quantity. So here one example is given 1 is to 6 ratio. So we can take however uh, the ratio it it, we can take it as 1 is to 3, 1 is to 4, 1 is to 5, so, so on. Next, the setting time of cement. Cement sets and hardens when water is added to it. So cement, always remember that the cement will set and hardens when the water is added to the cement powder. So the time required to set and harden the cement paste with respect to the time. So the time required to set and harden to gain the strength, to set in the sense to gain the strength. So the time required to set and harden the cement paste with the respect to time is known as setting time of cement. Next, the cement paste setting time is affected by a number of items including cement fineness, the fineness of the cement water cement ratio, chemical content, especially gypsum content and admixtures. So in your setting time of cement, there are two types of setting time. The first one is initial setting time and the final setting time. So the two types of setting time in the cement is initial setting time and final setting time. So in your initial setting time, which occurs when the paste begins to stiffen considerably and commonly it will take 30 minutes from the time of addition of water. So when the time, the initial time, initial setting time is nothing but the time, the time taken when the water is added to the cement powder. So that is the initial setting time and the final setting time, final setting time is nothing but when that cement has hardened to a point at which it can sustain some load occurs below 10 hours. Okay. So the initial setting time 
when the initial setting time you can't apply you uh, it, it can not apply any load on it so when the final setting time is a point at which uh, it can sustain some load next the heat of hydration the heat of hydration is the heat generated when the water and portland cement react so so the when the water is added to the portland cement some chemical reaction takes place so that is heat of hydration heat of hydration is most influenced by the proportion of c3s and c3a tricalcium silicate and tricalcium aluminate in the cement the heat of hydration depends on the chemical composition of cement so heat of hydration will also depend upon the chemical composition of the cement influenced by the water cement ratio the fineness and the curing temperature as each one of these factors is increased of heat hydration increases so out of these factors the fineness the curing temperature the water cement ratio the heat of hydration increases so any of these factors increase if the fineness increases also the heat of hydration will get increased the next property is loss of ignition heating a cement sample at 900 to 1000 degrees celsius that is until a constant weight is obtained which cause weight loss so the cement the sample of the cement is taken and is it is heated at a 900 degree celsius to 1000 degree celsius to retain some load to retain to gain some weight so that is called the cause of weight loss this loss of weight upon heating is calculated as loss of ignition so the improper and prolonged storage of adulteration during the transport or the transfer may lead to prehydration and carbonation so both of which might be indicated by the increase of loss of ignition so this is about the physical property the loss of ignition the next property the bulk density when the cement is mixed with water the water replaces area where there would normally be air so when the cement is mixed with water it the water will replace the area where there is normally air because of that the bulk density of the cement is not very important but is it is also calculated so cement has a varying range of density depending on the cement composition so generally the density of the cement it is taken from 1440 kg per meter cube so today we have studied about the physical properties of cement that is the first one the fineness of cement the second one the soundness the third one the consistency of cement the fourth one the strength which contains compressive tensile the flexure strength next the setting time which uh, the initial setting time the final setting time and the heat of hydration loss of ignition and bulk density so these are the eight physical properties of cement thank you